I've been meaning to make it here for years. Annie Thor's daughter is one of my best friends and she's been coming here for, I want to say since the first time DCC started. So this has been somewhere that I've really been wanting to go and I've always had something come up. I had to have my wisdom teeth taken out one year. I was sick the other year. I had a shoulder injury the other. So finally, I'm in Dubai. Got some good night's sleeps. Got our bags. Yeah, so we have our bags, so no, we're feeling great. We're no longer extremely tired. So over the next week, uh, definitely get running outside. Just get used to the heat, and then uh, there's usually running at this competition, so I'll be running. I'll definitely be getting in the ocean, getting wet, going for a swim, all the classic CrossFit stuff. But make sure I get outside here because the last few years, uh, the competition, they like to bring it outdoors, which, which is great, and so I want to make sure I'm ready for the elements. This is just kind of a hodgepodge of CrossFit people. A couple people that are competing, some men and some women that are competing, some people on a team that are competing. We're sort of being led by Mike, who was a professional water polo player. So he's sort of leading the charge. We'll just do a quick swim, uh, sort of warm up first, get ourselves loosened up, and then I'll sort of explain what the, the main set's going to be. Today there's a, there's a couple of options to choose from, uh, but it's more so based on getting some volume in and just getting used to the water and getting a feel for it and loosening up and enjoying the swim. It's just good to get into these uh, different conditions and, and uh, get, get used to, to the surroundings before the, the comp starts. The changes to the season have definitely affected me just like they've affected every athlete before you were pretty much pushed into a certain system as far as the season was concerned and now you have options to create a season the way you want it. If you don't want to have an off season, you don't really have to have one. If you want to push one in the winter, if you want it in the spring, in the fall, it's kind of up to you. So for me, I'm just excited to kick off the season here in Dubai and looking forward to seeing how that goes and then when that's done, we'll figure it out from there. Beautiful in there, man, holy smokes. It's so clear. You can see the sand all the way out to the buoys. It's like warmer than most pools, <laughs> so it's nice, it's really nice. I feel like I'm pretty slow at like, people would make up ground on me when I was either getting into the water or like people are way faster than me at getting out. So I need, kind of need to practice like running past the water and also like when do I start dolphin diving and, and how do I dolphin dive, so. But this one went great. I mean, I didn't grow up with a beach. I never really swim in open water, so I, it's been like, really scary for me to start swimming in open water since I like started competing at the games and now I've gotten a lot better so I don't mind it now I like it but I'm like liking it more and more every time I do it I guess <laughs> All right, we're here, CrossFit Alioth, and uh, already quite a few other competitors from around the world have arrived. Um, a couple females, a couple males, so be good to catch up with them and get training here soon. Still pretty tired, but gonna get in a little bit of training, mostly stretching, maybe get on some machines and kind of warm up a little bit, get the body moving, get the blood flowing. To finish my preparation for this competition, there's not really that much more to do. Uh, I'm in pretty good shape and one more week of training isn't really going to change that but training too much can definitely tire me out leading up to the competition. I'll touch on a few things, uh, make sure I'm still feeling sharp and ready to compete but nothing too crazy dynamic, nothing too exhausting, just really trying to grease the groove and make sure I'm nice and limber and ready to go for the competition next Wednesday. My trip over here was uh, actually pretty nice. I competed in Ireland and then there was a straight flight from Ireland to here, so it's from uh, a lot of cold to a lot of heat. <laughs> love the weather and I love the events. It's so cool to uh, start in a swim workout and being able to use the nature and, and then also being in, in a tennis stadium where like the CrossFit Games are, so it's like a similarity there from this competition to the CrossFit Games. How I prepare for TFC compared to how I prepare for Ireland is just getting used to the heat, training outside in the sun. I can't say that I hate that actually. I really love the sun. Doing ocean swims and runs and, and more like outdoor activity. Like there could be a, a desert run, there could be a desert bike. We don't know what's gonna come, but we definitely know there's gonna be something that you can only do in Dubai almost, and that's a run in the desert. Decided to arrive about eight days before the competition starts, which is quite a bit earlier than a lot of the other competitors, but I wanted to make sure I got over the jet lag. We've got a 12 hour time change from what I'm used to. So midnight here is you know noon back home, which is a pretty massive change as far as uh, keeping track of sleep. So I just wanted to make sure by the time the competition started, I wasn't feeling tired, 
and I'd found some good places to get some good food. And also, it's a lot hotter here than it is in Canada, so a couple more days getting used to the heat is also going to make a big difference if we're, uh, if we're doing any activities outside. My biggest competition, I think there's a lot of guys I could name off. I, I really try and focus on my own performance and just try to maximize every training session, every event, every competition and just really try to do my best and get as many points as I can. But going into this competition, I think some of the guys I got to really look out for that have a shot at uh, taking away some points from me would be fellow Canadian Patrick Vellner. He just had a really great open. Bjorg van Kahl Goodmanson just came off a podium finish at the CrossFit Games. Those are probably the two big names that I'm uh, keeping my eyes on this weekend that should do pretty well. You can never say who's your biggest competitor because what's beautiful about CrossFit is that we all have our different areas that we're good at and sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't and, and if it doesn't then we just know what we need to work on for next year. So I would say that Tia is probably the one that is good in everything. I don't think she has a weakness. I think she's a robot actually. <laughs>